Okay, this topic is 11.1 .1 horizontal line test. So we know about the vertical line test, and that's where you imagine a bunch of vertical lines on the graph, or you draw them in on the graph. And if any one of those vertical lines touches the graph more than one time, then it's not a function, okay? And so what they're asking us here is not necessarily whether or not these graphs are functions. What they wanna know in this particular topic is whether or not these graphs are one-to-one -one relationships. Some of them may be functions and some of them may not be. For instance, this one is not a function because the vertical line test would be failed. However, every single graph is a relationship, okay? So they wanna know which of these relationships are one to one. That means for every X value, I get only one Y value, okay? And vice versa, for every one Y value, I get only one X value, okay? And so they want to know whether these things are one to one. Now, they ask the question, is it a one to one function. So not only does it have to pass the vertical line test to be a function, but that's the vertical line test, but now it also has to pass the horizontal line test to be one to one, okay? So for instance, this graph, if I draw a bunch of vertical lines through it, no vertical line crosses more than one time. So this is a function. And when I do the horizontal line test, none of these horizontal lines touches the function more than one time. It passes both the vertical line test and the horizontal line test. Now this graph, it passes the vertical line no matter how many vertical lines I draw, they all only touch that curve one time. But when you do the horizontal line test, notice that that horizontal line touches the graph four times. It only has to touch it two times or more and it's bad. So this is not a one-to-one -one function. Then here if I do the vertical line test or horizontal line test, notice that I did the wrong one. So if I do the vertical line test, it does pass the vertical line test. If I do the horizontal line test, this one's a little bit tricky. This one touches it once, 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 once. The only one in question is this one right on top of the x-axis. It looks like it's touching the graph once, but there's nothing here in this point. It's a hole. So it's not really touching anything there. It's only touching the graph here, this side. So this one is a one-to-one -one function. Now over here, it passes the vertical line test, but it fails the horizontal line test. So it's a function, it's just not one-to-one -one function. So then here, we pass the vertical line test, right? Even if I extend it all the way, okay? So we pass the vertical line test, and let's see. Oh, we do not pass the horizontal line test because on the x-axis, it touches twice, and on this one, it touches twice. So it fails double time, right? So this one is not a one-to-one -one function. Now here, this one will fail the vertical line test, but it passes, oh, nope, it doesn't pass the horizontal line test either. So it's not one-to-one -one, and it's not a function. It's bad in both ways, okay? Now let's go look at this one. So this one passes the vertical line test. And let's see about the horizontal line test. Nope, I draw horizontal right there and I hit it twice. 
So this one is not one-to-one. -one. It is a function, but it's not a one-to-one -one function. Here, this one passes the vertical line test, so it is a function. This one passes the vertical line test, so it is a function. This one fails the horizontal line test, so it's not one-to-one. -one. This one passes the horizontal line test. Each one of these red lines only touches the graph one time. So this one is a one to one function. Okay, so vertical line test tells you whether or not it's a function and the horizontal line test tells you whether or not that function is one to one.